Algebra 1, number 1.2b. I'm going to talk about identity properties in this video. When we add 0 to a number, the number will keep its identity. We call that 0 the additive identity. When we multiply a number by 1, the number will keep its identity, and we call that 1 the multiplicative identity. Remember, fractions are just little division problems. And when the numerator and denominator are the same, the fraction equals 1. If we have 2 over 2, that's equal to 1. That's just 2 divided by 2, isn't it? That's 1. If we have 5 over 5, that equals 1. 5 divided by 5. And if we have x over x, that's going to equal 1. x divided by x would be 1. So for any number a, as long as that a isn't a 0, a divided by a is 1 because when you have a number divided by itself, it's going to equal 1. So the identity property of addition says for any number a, if you have a plus 0, it's going to equal a. And if you have 0 plus a, it's going to equal a. Adding 0 to a number lets it keep, keeps its identity. It doesn't change. And the identity property of multiplication says for any number a, a times 1 equals a, and 1 times a equals a. So you notice in the addition one there's a 0, and in the multiplication one there's a 1, okay? So multiplying 1 to a number lets the number keep its identity. And we can do this with algebraic expressions. If we have n over n, that's going to equal 1. And if we have n plus 3 over n plus 3, that's going to equal 1. If we have 5xy over 5xy, that's going to equal 1. The numerator and denominator are the same. Even if we had 4a plus 3 over 4a plus 3, it's got the same numerator as denominator. It's going to equal 1. And we can write an equivalent expression by multiplying the expression by 1. If we have 3 fourths, it's going to equal 3 fourths times 1 because it's going to just make it equal itself, isn't it? 3 fourths. We multiply by the identity. So let's say we had 6 sixths for 1. We substitute the 6 sixths for a 1. We have 3 fourths times 6 sixths. We're going to get 18 20 fourths. We multiply the numerator and denominators. We got the 18 20 fourths, and that's an equivalent fraction to 3 fourths. So we can substitute any number over number, as long as they're the same, for 1. We can also use the identity property of multiplication to write equivalent algebraic expressions. As long as all the denominators are 0, they cannot equal 0. Remember, the equal sign with the slash through it means not equal to. So if we had a 5 over a 0, that would be 5 divided by 0. And if we had x over 0, that would be x divided by 0. And you can't divide by 0. It just You can't do it. Try it on your calculator. It won't let you. So we can write an expression equivalent to a over 2 by multiplying by 1. See? As long as that is not a 0 denominator. So if we have a over 2, it's going to be equal to a over 2 times 1. And we can substitute b over b as the 1. So we can do a over 2 times b over b. That'll give us a times b over 2 times b. These are equivalent and it doesn't matter what the b stands for as long as the b is in both the numerator and the denominator as a 1. See? We could have a times x over 2 times x. As long as that numerator and denominator are the same for that one, it's going to be equivalent. We could have a times 3 over 2 times 3. See? So, using real numbers, if we had 10 over 2, now we know 10 divided by 2 is 5, but if we had 10 over 2 and we multiplied it by 3 over 3, and we know because the numerator and denominator are the same, it equals 1. That would give us 10 times 3 over 2 times 3. See? And that would be 30 over 6. Well, 30 divided by 6 is 5, just like 10 over 2. See? They're equivalent fractions. See? So, that's the identity properties of addition and multiplication. And I've got a link in this description if you want to see the video from Grade 5 Math that talks about all the properties, even associative and distributive, okay? And we covered commutative in the last video, and we're going to talk about simplifying expressions in the next video, okay? So if you want to see the uh, video on the properties, just check the description in this video, all right? Bye.